hey guys we just wanted to give you a little heads up about the video it's a lot longer than our usual videos because there's a lot of information in it and the first two or so minutes I think it's like two to three minutes are about the electrical in the van and a diagram and me talking about exactly how we did our electrical in case you guys want some tips or just advice about how you can do your own electrical but I'm gonna put timestamps in the description below so that you guys can follow along and skip that part if it doesn't interest you and we just wanted to say we're super thankful for all the recent subscribers and love that you guys have been showing. And uh, we just wanted to say thank you for that and that we are, um, I guess, just very thankful for that. So first you have your batteries. We went with two 200 amp hour batteries for a large storage so that we can use our computer in the future. Next is the control switch. This is going to be a main power switch which can turn off the power if need be at any time. Then comes where all your wires run to. These are your two bus bars. You have a negative and a positive one. The red is the positive wires and the black are the negative wires. These bus bars help clean up the look of the van and your wiring and allow it to be a little more compact. After you have your bus bars, you can go ahead and attach your ground wire, which is essential to any electrical setup. Next thing in our electrical setup is our distribution box. It's going to allow us to separate the 120 volt and the 12 volt power in one complete package that is fusible and just looks a lot cleaner. After the distribution box, I'm going to address one of the three ways we have power in our van, and this is shore power that is connected to a breaker. This breaker just adds an extra layer of protection when we plug into somewhere in case the power there isn't exactly 15 amps. After this, we get to the object which converts 12 volt power into 120 volt power for us. Our inverter is also a charger, so this allows us to be able to use shore power without having to have an additional charger in our van. This keeps everything really compact and allows us to have more breathability for all of our electronics under the bed. Also, the purple wires are your 120 volt power, and it only goes from the breaker to the inverter, and then from the inverter to the 120 volt distribution box. Before I show you the solar charger, if you look and see those green dots that I just placed on the wires, that's where we put our fuses, and I wish someone would have showed me this when we were doing our electrical or had a better example of this. Mainly, you just need a fuse from your batteries to your bus bars and your inverter to your bus bars. The size of these fuses really depend on what type of inverter or batteries you use. So for us, we have a 2000 watt inverter, and in the manual, it called for a 200 amp fuse. And then for our batteries, we can only pull 200 amps through our inverter. So we also placed a 200 amp fuse on that side. Now I'm going to show you the two ways we produce power every day. So if you want to use this diagram go ahead and pause here but I'm also going to upload this picture elsewhere and put it in the description so you guys can have a solid copy to look at. Okay so obviously you start with the solar panels. We have two 200 watt solar panels. Then we installed our 50 amp DC to DC charger which is also an MPPT solar charger. When a solar charger says MPPT it really just means that this is the kind of charger you want for your solar. If it's not MPPT you don't want it. Then you want to go ahead and connect these guys up. Because this charger is a DC to DC and an MPPT charger, it can connect an alternator or essentially just a positive wire from your car battery to your charger. Now usually you have two different devices, one for solar and one for your alternator. But in our case, we wanted to keep it compact, so we did a device that is just both in one. So then you want to go ahead and hook your alternator wire, the one that's running from your battery to your DC to DC charger, and then you want to run that charger to your bus bars, positive to positive, negative to negative. And again, the green spots are where you have to put fuses. In our case, that's a 70 amp fuse from the alternator to the charger and a 30 amp fuse from the solar to the charger. And then from the charger to the bus bars, it was just another 60 amp fuse. These were all put in following the manuals that were given with each device. Now let's get to the video watching me fumble around and install this within a week. <laughs> Green, our van's black! In their mounting position, they'll be secured down <coughs> once I get everything wired up. Um, and they have the option of being <clears throat> excuse me, 
taken out and replaced with other cells if we need to be but uh, the hope is, is is that these will last us a while and we want to get different cells or new cells and so they'll just stay where they are for as long as they're good but that's where they go obviously wires will be around here so I can always see them and then this is oh you guys can't see that but there's a hole to the ground down there that's where the ground's gonna go and then my bus bars are going to go right here. And then my inverter charger is going to go on top of that box there. And over here is going to be some other wiring, probably a breaker box, um, a splitter, and all the wiring that will run to the van will go over there. And then up through here, this is where my solar charger is going to go. And then up, 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 up. You get to where we're going to be putting the solar panel wires through and all the roof lighting through. Okay, positive, connected, negative, bus bar, positive to the bus bar, actually runs, the positive runs oh, through this 60 amp fuse right here, the 60 amp breaker fuse basically, it's a resettable fuse um, right here, which if it gets tripped, you know, can reset it, or up here, which is also a 70 amp, which is for the safety from the alternator. Um, and then you come up to here, which is my solar panel plug, which can go here. And then they will have fuses on them, so they will fuse if they have a problem. Um, and then, anyway, it's all hooked up to the bus bar. Last thing we have to hook up to the bus bar is I've got to hook a positive there and take it to our panel box. I just hooked up our 120 volt breaker. There he is. This is a breaker from whatever we're getting our power from. If we're doing shore power, that way we have a breaker in between in case that something's wrong with their power or wrong with the power that's coming in. It won't blow the fuses that are already in the inverter charger, but um, this will help prevent that. So that runs over to the inverter charger and, um, and to the inside and the outside runs to our um, distribution box, which it's all kind of a mess right now. It needs some cable management, but it's done as far as that goes. Then this is where the 12 volt power, which I showed you just already, comes to the bus or goes to the inverter charger from the bus bar. And then this is where the negative of the 12 volt power comes to the negative bus bar, which is over here. 
and then you have this is the why you tighten that one up that is the positive for the distribution um, box this is the positive for the solar slash um, alternator charger and this is the power that will go to our batteries with our big fuse on it and then you've got over here it's negative bus bar this is where uh, solar and um, alternator charging they come into here and they will run from this from into here it's a negative and then the negative from the distribution box is right above it then this is the negative from the inverter charger negative to the batteries and then ground which comes to here and grounds out and then here's our solar charger right here it's got its positive to the alternator don't have the solar panels in yet but that's positive for solar panels and that's the ground or negative bar 60 amp fuse right there that is for the output of the green energy solar charger so it's all fused and the reason the fuses are back here and not up at the motor or at the battery um the, the car battery for the in, uh, inverter charger or the <laughs> for the alternator charging is because i want to be able to turn the alternator on and off to let the solar panels get full power if it's a real sunny day and vice versa i want to be able to turn the solar panels off um if my uh if we're driving around with the alternator fully charged because this uh alternator MPPT charger it's basically a 50 amp DC to DC MPPT charger which can take solar and alternator power um, it splits them if both of them are running so it splits them and you don't get 50 amps of alternator power um, just from <clears throat> running the car so that's what I want to do is have it to where it's getting the full 50 when we're driving or it can get the full however much from the solar panels um, will produce so that's the goal right now um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so, hi, it's me. I'm back again. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, this is going to be me showing you kind of the end result. Um, there's a couple more things, like uh, I'll show you one thing that's on the inverter right now that will be attached to the inner post of our beams, which will be under our bed. But anyway, <clears throat> this is the end result for now for the power. So, that's a good look of it. And now I'm trying to drain the batteries so all the bus bar and stuff, and there's a couple of wires hanging here that will be moved, but that's what our wire management is looking like right now. There's a couple of things that will be moved at the finished result, um, but for now, all the power is in, um, and it's running, running good. That's the thing that will get put, this will get moved to a post, the beam that will be right here in front of this inverter. Um, but that's the only thing that'll get moved from here so just that post anyway this is the setup of everything it's a little bluetooth monitor i just mount it right there you can turn the inverter on and off right there um so yeah basically this is all my wires that run everything in here this is my breaker in between inside and outside and that's just wired with the neutral connected and then the hot uh, go through here hot in to the breaker bar hot out to the uh, inverter charger and then from here um, oh and the grounds are connected on the ground bar and the neutrals I just wired up together so because they already got uh, insulation on them anyway then it runs out follow along runs out comes across here and um, inverter input and then output is to the distribution panel which is right there um, and I'll 
show you guys that. Then this is where all the 12 volt stuff comes in the back and I could type tape these together and stuff But if I ever want to change them out, I just want to be able to pull the plugs and um, if there's anything I do different I'll make a uh, Little terminal there, but Instead of running all the wires through the back You just plug them into the terminal on top of there because I left a lot of room here for improvements in the future or Putting our Wi-Fi stuff, which will probably some of it will go there um, But anyway, some stuff will go there. That's the inverter kicking on Come back to our batteries, got the lashing on them. They're all tied down. Um, two 200 amp hour batteries. They're both lithium. And then it just runs, uh, do our buses, or our breakers and stuff. And yeah, that's it. It all works. Dim our lights, turn our lights, try our lights. Ooh! Look at those bad boys! Look at those lights. Get these out of here! Get these guys out of here! We're done with you. Oh my gosh! It looks so good! Wow! Welding's not great because I'm still learning, but um, attached, firm, works. I'm going to grind it down, make it look pretty, and then we're going to mount it onto the table, which is down here, which has a hole in it already. And that way I can run my cables and everything through the center of this without um, having all the cable shift. So, cool, let's get it. Oh my goodness, babe, that looks so good.